is one of the most popular destinations for young people hoping to get a top-class education. Australia now attracts tens of thousands of international students each year to universities across the country. After spending so much precious time and money on university education down under, finding a dream job after graduation becomes the ultimate aim for most international students and the perfect end note to their Australian experience. But with 180,000 Australian students graduating each year, to land yourself a dream job isn't easy. This season, we are going to take you inside the minds of some most sought-after employers and career consultants to find out the secrets of successful job hunting. In this episode, we are going to hear employers and career consultants share the stories behind their first job. If I think back to when I was applying for jobs, and it is you know 20 years ago plus, it was confusing. There were lots of firms that I was that I was interested in. It does feel like it can be hard to differentiate between them. On a, on a choice that you're going to be, you know, that you, there should be a career choice, not just my graduate career, but a, but a long-term career choice. So I, I think something that, you know, I think I did reasonably well, but I probably could have done even better, was really ask questions. When I was very, very young, uh, my father had a cleaning store, and after school in the afternoon when I was 13 and 14 years of age, I delivered laundry and cleaning uh, into the buildings where he had customers and clients. And I learned certain responsibilities of, you know, it's okay to be really tired and just push yourself to be able to deliver what you need to do. After I finished my studies at university, I studied in education and teaching. I actually found my first job overseas. So I didn't look for a position within Australia. I was wanting to explore other countries, I was wanting to travel, and so I travelled to the UK. And my first job was with an agency within the Greater London area, teaching in schools from close by to London up to about sort of 40 minutes out of London. Um, at a community meeting when I was very young, I met somebody who was the deputy mayor of the city of New York. And uh, I spoke up, asked a lot of questions, made a lot of points, and he came up to me afterwards and asked me if I was looking for work. And I said, absolutely. So I had my first job when I was just started in college. I've always had fairly strong goals about what I want to achieve, but like everyone, there's bumps along the way and speed humps and uh, detours, um, and some of those detours have been lots of fun, so you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't give up on any of those. But I think we need to recognise not everything is direct to ride, and this role today that I have as, as Managing Partner of Human Capital is not one that two years before that was actually on my radar at all. So I think sometimes it's about taking the opportunities that, that sometimes other people see for you even before you see them. That's all for this episode. Have another look at the key points listed here and stay tuned for more tips for successful job hunting.